Hi everyone! Today we will be looking at the book Baker's Dozen, written by Aaron Shepard and illustrated by Wendy Edelson. And this is my first grayscale coloring book. The book is almost A4 size. It has soft glossy cover, but also available in hardcover. And inside it has 15 pictures to color. On the back side of the book we have all 15 illustrations which were originally painted by Wendy Edelson. Pages are not perforated and the binding is glued and quite solid. It's not a simple coloring book, but it's more a Christmas storybook and it tells us a story about St. Nicholas and what does it mean Baker's Dozen. And it definitely is the best grayscale coloring book I've ever seen. You know, usually I'm not a huge fan of grayscale coloring book, but this one is a real gem and I immediately fall in love, mostly because of the amazing artist style. Story is by Aaron Shepard and, as I said, all pictures were originally painted in watercolors by Wendy Edelson and, of course, I will leave you links to their websites in the info box below. Also, all watercolor paintings were very clever converted into grayscale pages and I also was quite happy with the quality of the paper. Paper is bright white, ink for printing is oil based, so printed lines won't be smudged with your colored pencils or even with watercolors or alcohol based markers. And I also loved that on the back side of each colored page we have baked layer of gray paint, which helps to reduce bleeding through. The story takes time in Albany, New York, in the times where this place still was a Dutch colony. Here we have amazing city view. So many details and artist style is quite unique. I immediately fall in love. I could imagine what a joy it would be when I will be coloring it in December. Book tells us a story of a baker van Amsterdam, but I won't be spoiling your interest. I hope that you will purchase it maybe as a coloring book, or maybe as a book for children, because it's also available as a real book. But let's concentrate on the artist style and on the things which we can learn using this book. I think that it's perfect for studying shading, for studying lighter and darker colors, for studying how to use contrasts. I especially love how Wendy paints faces and clothes. This is one of my favorite pictures in the book, because here we can easily see how artists added shadows, how she used light, dark and mid-tones, 
and it was really very helpful and very instructive for me. On this page I tested art supplies, I even tested my alcohol-based markers. Of course they bleed through, but not terribly so. But still I think that my choice will be Prismacolor pencils and Derwent Color Soft pencils. And apart from pencils I also tested here my Neocolor crayons for the background. And I was happy how each of these art supplies behave. They were able to cover gray pretty nice. The cover is solid and bright. So I absolutely in love with the quality of the paper, quality of the printing. And I think that it will be my favorite book for the Christmas time. And I think that this book is suitable for beginner colorists. It's really much easier to color such kind of books. This book also can be a nice Christmas present and Aaron Shepard has many other storybooks, all of them beautifully illustrated. Thank you for watching this video. In my opinion, this is a very nice coloring book and I am very happy to add it to my coloring book collection. And I see you soon. Happy coloring to all of you! Your past.